Hello everyone. Now we understand that how do we calculate the surface areas and volumes of different combination of solids. So let us understand that on what principles conversion of one solid to another depends upon. Now to understand this, let us first take a candle which is made up of wax. So this candle is cylindrical in shape and it has a distinct height and distinct radius. So let's put this wax candle into one more cylindrical jar and let's heat the cylindrical jar. So what will happen? When we'll heat this cylindrical jar, the wax of the candle will melt down and when it is allowed to cool, this wax, original wax candle will take a different shape. Now you will find out that the new candle shape is different from the original one and the new candle now is more thick and it has less height. Now you will agree with me if I say that the amount of wax in the first case and in the second case is the same. Or we can say that the volume before molding and after molding is the same. So in these type of questions, where our principle remains this that the volume before and after molding remains the same. Now this concept has many application in the industries. The metals from the scrap is melted and then again given the shape to form a different solid and in both the cases the volume remains the same. Let us assume a cube which is melted to form 100 metal balls and you will find out that the volume of this metal cube and volume of 100 metal balls is the same. So we'll try to solve some questions and apply this concept in those questions. And just remember that we have to apply only one principle here that is the volume before and after molding remains the same. So let's have a look at our first question here which says that how many silver coins 1.75 centimeters in diameter and thickness 2 millimeter must be melted to form a cuboid of this dimension. So we are given a coin and its dimension is given to us and we are asked that how many such coins are required to form the cuboid of this dimension. So in this case we know that the volume of x such coins will be equals to the volume of the cuboid. So we can find out the volume of this coin and then we will assume that x such coins are required to form the cuboid and then we'll equate the volumes of the x such coins and of the cuboid. So let's first find out the volume of a single coin. This will be equals to pi r square h since the coin is in form of cylinder. So this is pi r radius of the coin is 1.75 by 2 whole square and its thickness is given 2 millimeters. So just convert this into centimeters. So this will be 0 0.2 centimeters. And similarly, we can find out the volume of cuboid. So the volume of cuboid can be find out by its dimensions, it will be 5.5 into 10 into 3.5 centimeters cube. And now we can equate the volume of x such coins with the volume of cuboid and find the value of this x. So the volume of x such coins will be equal to the volume of cuboid and we can find out the volume of x such coin by multiplying x with this volume. So this will be x into pi into 1.75 by 2 whole square into 0 0.2 and this in turn is equal to the volume of cuboid. Just put this value. So this is 5.5 into 10 into 3.5. Now if you will check the dimensions 
on both the sides as same here also it's centimeter cube and here also it's centimeter cube we had already converted that millimeter into centimeter here so the dimensions is same so we can solve further and find the value of x so to find the value of x just take everything on the right hand side so this will be 5.5 .5 into 10 into 3.5 put the value of pi pi is 22 by 7 so this will become to be 7 by 22 into this will also get reciprocal so this will be 2 upon 1.75 into 2 upon 1.75 and into 1 upon 0 0.2 now just solve this so we can cancel this by 11 0 0.5 will come and 2 will come so cancel this 2 also and this can be cancelled by 7 so this will be 0 0.5 and this will be 0 0.25 and similarly this 7 can be cancelled so this is again 0 0.25 and now if you further solve this we'll get the value 80 upon 0 0.2 and if we solve this further we cancel this this will be 400 so we can say that 400 coins are required to make this cuboid by the single coin whose dimension is given to us